appropriate to Salahin. Chapter 186, The Excellence of Adhan Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, were people to know the blessing of pronouncing Adhan and the standing in the first row, they would even draw lots to secure these privileges. And were they to realize the reward of performing Salat early, they would race for it, and were they to know the merits of Salat after nightfall, Isha, and the dawn, Fajr, Salat, they would come to them even if they had to crawl. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. Commentary, this expression to crawl is used to illustrate the high merit of praying Isha and Fajr in congregation in the mosque. This hadith also urges to make best to occupy the first rows, as the angels of mercy pray for the imam first, then for those who pray immediately behind him in the first row, then those behind them, and so on. The hadith also points out the excellence of Adhan and the great reward of the person who pronounces it. Muawiyah, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, I heard the messenger of Allah peace be upon him saying, the Mu'ad-Din, callers to prayer, will have the longest necks on the day of resurrection. Reported in Sahih Muslim. Commentary, this hadith highlights the eminence of Mu'ad-Din and Adhan. Adhan means calling people to the worship of Allah. Mu'adhan, the caller, gets reward for the salad of all those who hear his Adhan. The phrase will have the longest necks has been given different interpretations. One of them is that they are those who long for the mercy of Allah more than anyone else. Another interpretation is that their necks will grow longer on the day of requital and so sweat will not reach them, for everyone will sweat on that day depending on his deeds, sweat will reach up to one's ankles or knees or waists. In the case of some people, sweat will reach up to their mouths. Another interpretation is that those who call at hand will have an honorable and great status on the day of requital. Abdullah bin Abdurrahman reported, Abu Sa'id al-Kudri, may Allah be pleased with him, said to me, I see that you like living among your sheep in wilderness. So whenever you are with your sheep or in wilderness and you want to call Adhan, you should raise your voice because whoever hears the Adhan, whether a human or jinn or any other creature, will testify for you on the day of resurrection. Abu Sa'id added, I heard this from the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari. Commentary Shayun is used for everything, or every other thing, and covers animals, vegetables, and inanimate matter. On the day of requital, Almighty Allah will grant the faculty of speech, and all these things will testify for the Mu'ad-Din, as would be done by mankind engine. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, when at hand for salad is pronounced, the devil takes to his heels and breaks wind with noise so as not to hear the call. When the Adhan is finished, he returns. When the Ikama is announced, he turns his back, and after it is finished, he returns again to distract the attention of one and makes him remember things which he does not recall in his mind before the salad, and says remember this, and this, and thus causes one to forget how many rakat he performed. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. Commentary, the words signify that Satan runs with great speed and he breaks wind, or he intentionally does so. In any case, it shows that he has an aversion for at hand. The second point that we learn from this hadith is that the concentration of mind is a must for Salat to defeat all attempts of Satan to disrupt it. Abdullah bin Amor bin Alayz, may Allah be pleased with them, reported, I heard the messenger of Allah peace be upon him saying, when you hear the Adhan, repeat what the Mu'ad-Din says. Then ask Allah to exalt my mention because everyone who does so will receive in return ten rewards from Allah. Then beseech Allah to grant me al wasila which is a high rank in Jannah, fitting for only one of Allah's slaves, and I hope that I will be that man. 
If anyone asks Alwaisala for me, it becomes incumbent upon me to intercede for him. Reported in Sahih Muslim. Commentary, to invoke blessings upon the Prophet peace be upon him means to recite Allahumma Sali Allah Muhammadin, Waya Allah Ali Muhammadin, Kama Salida Allah Ibrahima Waya Allah Ali Ibrahima, Inaka Hamadun Majid. Waisala literally means that mode or method by which one attains his goal, but here it stands for that high rank in Jana which will be awarded to the Prophet peace be upon him. The word Shafa'a means to beg someone to pardon somebody's faults and shortcomings or to request someone for doing a virtuous deed. In the context of this hadith, it refers to the privilege of intercession of the Prophet peace be upon him due to which he will request for the forgiveness of such people for whom he will be given permission by Allah. Abu Sa'id al-Qudri, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, when you hear the Mu'adhan, pronouncing the call to Salat, repeat after him what he says. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. Commentary, this hadith also tells us to repeat the words of Adhan when we hear it. But when he says Heya alas salat or Heya ilal fala we must say La hala wa la kawaita, illa billa. Jabir, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, he who says upon hearing the Adhan, O Allah, rub of this perfect call, Dawa, and of the established prayer, as Salat, grant Muhammad the Waisala and superiority, and raise him up to a praiseworthy position which you have promised him, it becomes incumbent upon me to intercede for him on the day of resurrection. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari. Commentary, this hadith tells us the merit of, the prayer by means of which one attains his should be recited in the manner narrated by Abdullah bin Amr, which says that one should first repeat the wording of Adhan, then recite the prayer asking to exalt the mention of the Prophet peace be upon him and then pray Allah to grant him the Waisala. Sad bin Abu Waqtas, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Prophet peace be upon him said, he who says after the Adhan, I testify that there is no true God except Allah alone, he has no partners and that Muhammad peace be upon him is his slave and messenger, I am content with Allah as my rub with Muhammad as my messenger and with Islam as my deen, his sins will be forgiven. Reported in Sahih Muslim. Commentary, this hadith mentions another prayer which should be recited beside the already mentioned Dua al-Waisala. Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, the supplication made between the Adhan and the Ikamah is never rejected. Reported in Abu Dawud and at Tirmidhi.